This method came about from an association called the IFAI, which is the Industrial Fabrics Association International. They have a tent rental division that took it upon themselves to study this. They spent a lot of money with the University of Illinois and they did thousands and thousands of pulls in different soil conditions and, and, and they came up with uh, data that was like that thick. And they condensed it all down to one little pamphlet like this, which I photocopied and put into your folder. And what I photocopied for you is this much of it. Okay, and this is what you really need to, to take a look at. This chart right here is what we're going to do as far as the testing goes. And basically what this test amounts to is you take one standard steel stake, drive it into the ground about a foot and a half to two feet. You want to get below the topsoil into the soil that's actually going to be doing the work. First thing you do is you measure a reference point so from the ground say to the top of this stake is 31 and a half inches then you take a 16 pound sledgehammer with an average blow don't knock the crap out of it just an average swing and you drive it down one hit you change that measure you check that measurement again the difference between the 31 and a half and now what it is and you can look on this chart and it will tell you what this will hold. If I drive it with one hit and it goes in less than a quarter of an inch, the stake should hold about 2,200 pounds. If it goes in between a quarter and a half of an inch, it's good for 1,600 pounds. If it goes in one half to one and a half, it's good for about 800 pounds. This is where you need to start to worry. If it's between a half and one and a half, or one and a half and three inches, it'll only hold 400 pounds. So you need to start worrying if your soil conditions yield these lower numbers because everything's based on a thousand pounds of holding power. This system right here, designed for this tent, is based on a single stake at a thousand pounds. If we're less than a thousand pounds in our test, we got a problem with this system right here as far as the integrity of this tent. Okay? So, you've got the He-Man muscles, have at it. Oh, I was <laughs> Who are you pointing to? Yeah, Oops, really. I'm sorry. Get out of the camera. So one average blow. And I'm definitely going to Average guy, it. average blow. And there it is. And that's all you need to do. 31 and a half. We're now down to 30. So we're at an inch and a half with that average blow. Inch and a half on here, we're somewhere between 400 and 800 pounds. For the sake of discussion, let's say 800 pounds, okay? Now let's go 400, all right? Let's say for the sake of discussion that this was 400 pounds. Right now, as this tent is set up, right now, in these soil conditions, we are setting up for failure, okay? Because this is designed based on a 1,000 pound soil rating. Our test showed us that it was 400 pounds Therefore, this is not enough to meet the design criteria for this tent. This tent's design criteria is to meet the building code, which is 70 and 90. A 70 mile an hour wind with a three second 90 mile an hour blow. That's what this is designed for. And this is where, where we have to educate everybody as a group that just because the manufacturer gives us a diagram that says, three stakes, two stakes, three stakes, two stakes, and we do that? No. Okay? You have to adjust accordingly. Now, how do you adjust accordingly? These little charts over here will tell you. And basically, if you look at these charts, you'll see that as you drive the stake deeper into the ground or you use a longer stake, the holding power gets better. So if you're driving stakes into the ground this deep, you better learn how to drive them into the ground that deep. Because a stake this high is only going to hold about 54% of that 400 pounds. So now this stake, instead of 400 pounds, if I tie a rope off on here, it's good for about 200 pounds. 